Hey guys, it's Crystal. Um, I am unboxing my wine.com order. Um, these are wines like I generally get ones I'm familiar with, like real well, whatever. I got suggestions this time, so I'm gonna try two with you guys and then show you the other two. One I got just for display. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like get that one out of the way. I also have a rant to go on, so I'm gonna go on the I'm gonna go on the rant as I try the wine. Like I'm gonna explain the wine to you, and then I'm gonna go on the rant. Okay, I'm trying to get like everything situated behind me. Okay, um, let's see which one I got this one for display. It's the Grateful Dead so your face bottle. Um, I'm a huge Grateful Dead fan. And this is a red wine blend 2012. Grateful Dead was not like around by then. But it's um it's I guess inspired by. You know what I mean? But I got this basically to display in my room. It will not be drank. Expensive bottle at that. <laughs> it was the most expensive bottle I got. Okay. Um, I have two wine glasses, and then two open bottles, and then one I'm going to show you. Okay, so, give me two seconds, and I will have this together. I need to move stuff around here. I forgot, like, I didn't get the wine glasses out. <laughs> so, let's try to do that. Okay, we are going to be trying, there's our glasses, wine glasses, okay, we're going to be trying, we're going to try this one first, because the other one, I, I asked for a 13 or above alcohol percentage, because I don't like to drink a lot, like, I want maybe a half a glass, and to be relaxed at that, so, Let's see. We're going to pour. This one is Pours Heaven Heels 2013 Cabernet Seven on Colombian Crest. That's what it looks like. It had This bottle particularly has been chilled. Um, I'm going to read you the back. Um, Colombian Crest H3 wines were created to ce celebrate the wines. Winery's rich heritage in the Horse Heaven Hills, as well as its innovative wine making and um, particular practices. Our bold Cabernet delivers aromas of deep fruits and currants with a balance of earthy and deep berry flavors and a cocoa finish. Um, like I said, I haven't tried this one yet. I'm going to be trying it with you guys. I do smoke when I drink. Um, I'm still trying, I'm going to try not to do that on camera. Like, I smoke in general, but I, I, I made a rule that I didn't want to do it on camera. This, this, I may have to break my rule. Because, depending upon how strong the wine is, I might need a cigarette. So, we're going to like this. Marlboro Milds, by the way. It's menthol. Okay. Don't like doing that. Don't like smoking in front of you guys. Actually, I'm a closet smoker. I don't like smoking in front of anybody. Okay. Let's see. I'd already opened these. Put my little wine toppers in them to get ready for you guys. I'm actually, I'm only going to pour a little bit. Enough to smell and try. There's that one. Not much going out of the wine bottle, as you can see. I have the hardest time getting the corkscrews out of these, like as you can see around, I don't know if you can see it, like around the top of the bottle, like all the damage that was done for me trying to get the cork out. Just stick these in, it's just to keep the one fresh. I'm going to stick this one in the floor. The next one, 16%. That Oh, that one, by the way, was 13.5%. This one is a fine ruby porta, a, a porto. Um, um, product of Portugal. Um, any porto is good. 
you could pretty much bet on that. They might be strong, they might not, whatever, but a Hordo is always good that you can bet on. This one was very highly recommended to me, the Fine Ruby Hordo, because of the strong content and the taste. I said I hate the taste of alcohol, which I do. I'm not fond of it at all. Um, it says, established in 1588, Croft has been renowned for ports of distinction for over 300 years. This excellent young port wine has matured in traditional oak vats. Made from a selection of full-bodied and ripe ports from some of the fine areas of Dur Duro Valley, the wine has sweet red berry fruit flavors intertwined with black currants. This port is ready to drink and does not need decanting. Decanting. Okay, so we're gonna pour a little bit of this. Said, so, ready, ready. These little stoppers save your life, like with wine. If you're like me and you do just drink a little at a time, I'm basically taste testing these for you guys. Once again, wine.com, not sponsored. Would love to be sponsored. Um, I love your wine. So if you guys see this, or if you guys go to wine.com, actually, like, there's a thing, like, if you were referred by a friend, if you put in there you were referred by Crystal Campbell, then I think that we both get 10%. This doesn't feel as tight as I want it to. I think you're supposed to... Uh, uh. Go down. <laughs> You're supposed to switch the top and it just goes down, but in this one, for some reason, it's not going down very well. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I already showed you, the, I showed you the last one that I wasn't going to open, right? It's a Carnivore, um, California 2013. I'm not going to try this one. Um, I don't want to open the bottle yet. But uh, Cabernet is unique combination of full body flavors with finesse. Our rich blend shows hints of blackberry caramel, roast coffee, and toasted oak. Finishes each bold sip with a refined smoothness. And this one is also 13%. The, one, the other one, the last one I just did, the Porto, it was 16%. So you match your guys drink a lot of it. Okay. As now, it's time to, I guess, to sip and go on my rant. While redoing my room, <clears throat> my priest said, you know, I'll help, whatever, just pay me back. Okay, well, like, he got $370 paid back to him just this month. Um, I know that he didn't spend more than $800, so that was almost $400 of it. And he's like, well, I, I will do what we can, da, da, da. I just feel like every time, like, his life comes into play, like, he acts like he's as broke as I am, you know what I mean? And it, it really, really bothers me. If he had to live off what I did, he wouldn't make it. So, I mean, it just, it really aggravates me. By the way, this is, like, the Hello Kitty outfit I got from Walmart that I think is so cute. And it is so warm. But, let's try these. This one is the the croft i think yeah it's the croft one no no, no. i'm sorry croft is the black um this one is the the h3 horse heaven hills cabernet colombian crest let's see what we think i have my cigarette steam in my <laughs> i I'm in the wine drinking because I just like, at a certain age, it's not classy to be walking around with a beer anymore. And I, I mainly got this, I have sleeping problems. And it, wine helps. Mmm. Smells like and strong. Let's make sure we get a cigarette ready. Because generally, if it is nice and strong, I get it down and, um... You know, but you had there are a few people, one really likes one and one doesn't. You know, I don't hate one. I could drink it, but I'm not my drink of choice. But wine.com does have a great selection, like I said once before. I'm trying to get them as a sponsor and affiliate. Mention my name. Mention from YouTube. 
you heard about it from YouTube and by Crystal Campbell. You don't have to put the Mary in there. Um, okay, let's like the cigarette. Let's try this. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hmm. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad one at all. But if you chalk it up to me, it tastes like cherries and grapes. You can you can feel the alcohol in your throat, but you don't taste it. Um, so that's that's always good. Let's go ahead and try to finish this glass off real quick. I'm already at 11 minutes. Actually, being at already 11 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and try the Croft. This is 16%. This is the Fine Red Ruby, which was very, like, I talked to three people, and they all, see how, what a pretty color that is. I don't know if you can see, but it's a really, like, red, deep red color. Looks kind of like blood. Um, let's try this. That's so much strong. This is 16%. Means basically half glass of this and I will be drunk. Okay. It was better than the first. But very, very, very strong. We can feel it going down. Hmm. Just some iced tea afterwards. When I get off the computer with you guys, I'll probably fill these up both up a little bit and drink them. But I wanted to go on a rant. Um. You know, I switched religions for a reason, and every reason I have seems to be going out the door, like, slowly but surely. And it's making me question, not my spirituality or anything with God, because I truly, I'm, I'm a believer, and, but it's changing a lot with my faith, and I didn't think that would happen, but it is, it's happening, um, <clears throat> I guess it's true, like, I go out of my way not to get too close to people, because something, some crap always happens, I go out of my way not to borrow money, because something always comes up, um, I don't like to send people, and in this case, um, I don't feel like I was wrong, I feel like him and his wife were wrong, and it's Today completely changed our relationship. You know, the phone conversations we had and stuff. It completely changed our relationship. And, um, I guess that's fine. It's not something I wanted, but it is what it is. And, you know that saying, it is what it is. You know, it means change it. You know, it means accept or change. And, at this point, I think I need to accept the situation and change it. Mm. So I'm gonna hit the cigarette. I saw that wine. Okay. Put this out. I don't like to smoke on camera. I am I am a smoker, you know, but with these cute little sockies to go with this outfit, the white and the pink. Okay, um, I am doing a lot, um, I want to start doing a daily, like, um, a daily devotion with you guys. I don't know how many of you would like it, how many of you would read it, or watch it, I don't know, but it's, it would be out of this book. 
and I know that's backwards to you guys, but it says Daily Devotions for Women Journal, and what it is is like, okay, December 7th, I haven't done it yet, I always do it at night, you know, that's the way it looks, um, it, sa it says a story in how, how God helped them through it, you put the date, and then, then you write, like, your experience to that, and how God helped you, I'm going to be going through that with you guys, um, I would say probably once a week, I am only going to be doing it about once a week, or, I'm sorry, three times a week, so, I guess I can make the videos, like, ahead of time, and then put them out, lately, I mean, I haven't been making my videos, and then putting them out, I've been making my videos, um, putting them in, editing, and publishing all in one, um, I guess it's going to have to change, but, um, sorry for my rant, remember wine.com, these are, like, some of the best wines, especially if you're looking for alcohol content, um, like, I don't feel anything from it anymore, like, in my chest or anything, but it will definitely help me sleep, so, win-win, but, um, I'm Italian, you know, I grew up drinking with, drinking with meals at a very young age, drinking heavy wines like that, so, um, wines are something that I guess I could take, I could take pretty easy, and that's gotta be the Italian blood, plus I'm Irish, and we all know they're known for drinking, um, I drink rarely, but I, I do drink, like, at meals, or I'm gonna, like, at night, wine.com has been my place to get wine, they do have a huge selection, and they have online, like, assistance, like, once you go on, you can tell him what you're looking for, and he'll, he'll make recommendations, but I hope you guys like this video, um, and I hope you guys do, like, if you drink wine, if you're over, if you're over 21 and you drink wine, I hope that wine.com is where you go, like I said, at the top it says, like, refer, like, if you, if your friends referred you or whatever, put YouTube, and then put, you know, if you, put crystal.mary.campbell, and I guess it'll go through YouTube, but my name's actually, like, Crystal Campbell, I did change the middle name for purposes of YouTube, but, bad dolls, and thanks for watching, and thanks for reviewing, like, I'm glad you guys are viewing, but nobody's subscribing, nobody's giving me a like, nobody's giving me a comment, um, help, help me get to 100, so that I can live stream, and then after that, I guess, 500 is the goal, and then, thousands the goal, at a thousand, I can actually talk to you guys and get paid for it, um, Right now, I'm doing this as a passion project. Nobody's paying me to do this. And nobody's sponsoring me. So, but, like I said, I'm Greek Orthodox and things need to change. My next video will probably be explaining what an Orthodox Christian is. Not many people are familiar unless you're from the Middle East. Um, it's their primary religion. But it dates back pretty far. But, um, I guess that's it. Bye, Zaz.